Hello everyone, and welcome back to Figure Review. Closing out my look at the Batman vs Superman DC Multiverse series, we have the Bat Creature. Now this uh, series, of course, has the Collect and Connect uh, Batman Grapple Gun, which will be the final video in the series. But first, we got to take a look at this guy now. For those of you wondering who may have not seen the movie, this is a kind of unique character they threw in there. Um, this character appears in one of Batman's nightmares. Uh, this is not a huge spoiler, so don't, if you haven't seen it, don't worry. It's not really a big deal, but Batman is uh, having a nightmare about his uh, parents' death, and this creature comes through the wall at him and uh, gives him quite a scare. Uh, and we actually don't even get to see the full creature in this form, so kind of a unique choice by DC and Mattel to include this character in the series, but I suppose they didn't want to put other major characters. They didn't want to spoil anything uh, should the figures hit the shelf a little too early. Uh, by mistake, but a very uniquely designed character, uh, very much reminds me of uh, Disney's Gargoyles, um, the animated series from the late 90s, but just represented in a much more realistic fashion. Uh, very unique sculpt here, uh, see he's got the wings, these don't expand unfortunately, um, but just great detail throughout, the gray skin, the veins, um, all sorts of articulation through the feet. It looks like his feet should go the other way, but that's actually the way they go, so he can stand. So, a very unique character. Human-like arms and a very humanish face. Um, but just a, just a frightening creature overall. Um, you know, shoulder articulation, ab swivel and crunch, uh, ball-jointed head, uh, swivel elbows, just like... Like, all the articulation you would come to expect from a DC Multiverse-style figure is in there. It's just a very, very unique uh, character choice, uh, for, especially for such a mainstream series. So, very cool, very cool. Uh, like I said, a very unique choice, but a greatly designed and decaled figure. Um, if you like obscure and unique characters like this, uh, definitely pick it up if you can find it. But this guy is a hard one to find because uh, uh, he's not particularly... Um, there's not a lot in a set when they get the series in, so he might be a little hard to find. And of course, for anybody trying to actually put the grapple gun together, he's a definitely, you know, you need this guy. Uh, his piece is the main barrel of the gun, so you, you need this guy to complete that grapple gun. So... I thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the final video. Uh, this closes out the figures in the series, but the final video will be of the actual grapnel gun. Thanks for watching, everybody.